I'm happy now in the city of my soul. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I love the Lord and I love you. Amen. Let us go to the word of the Lord. Amen. Thank God for all of you. Amen. I'm with the Lord. I, I just love it when I see men come to church. I want to say this because what has hurt us as a culture, we have not had uh, inter uh, cultural worship, amen, intergenerational cultural worship in our families. What that simply means is, amen, that I worship the Lord, I pass it to my children, they worship the Lord, then they pass it to their children, and it's a continual process. But in our culture now, it is what it is. Amen. And every chance we get to help our children out, we ought to do it. Amen. And what I found out in church is when people don't have an interest anymore, they don't participate. They don't have a child, they don't have a grandchild or a neighbor, they like real well. They sit back and don't even care. Old school was, amen, in the neighborhood, your neighbor cared about you. Amen. You cut up, amen. You'd be hurt when you got to get home, and then after you got there, you hurt some more. Y'all ain't gonna help me up in here. Amen. The truth is truth all day. Amen. And we need God to send a national revival. Then we need the Lord to send a local revival. Amen. Amen. To, amen. Change the hearts of men and women in this earth. The Bible says we're a nation who gets God is destined for destruction. America is not being destroyed from the outside. It's being destroyed from the inside in the house. The Bible against itself cannot stand. Somebody say amen. amen. All right. Today, I would the word of the Lord come to us out of the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter number 19, very familiar portion of Scripture. Amen. And we're going to ask you to stand for the reading of the Lord's word. Amen. And I beg people everywhere I go, every chance I get, read the word of the Lord for yourself. Deception is in the land, and the Bible says, take heed that no man or woman deceive you. Well, you know that we ought to do that. Amen. People are going along with deception. Amen. Legally, they say it's right or wrong, it's wrong. Amen. And so we tend to believe the law of man. Uh, the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter number 19. Amen. And allow me to use the multi text, the reading of hearing. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus. Oh, watch this, which was chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not fall the press, because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. For he was to pass that way. Verse 5 is the pericope of the text. And when Jesus came to the place, somebody said the place. The place. Uh, when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him. And said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste. Mm -hmm. Come down, for today I must abide at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. Mm -hmm. And when they, somebody said, when they. And when they. Uh, look, 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 watch that. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was going to be guest with the man that is a sinner. Somebody say, is a sinner. <laughs> And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. Uh -huh. And if, somebody said, and if, and if. Uh, if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, mm -hmm. I restore him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to thy of this house. Mm -hmm. For so much as he also is a son of Abraham. Yes. Watch now. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Mm -hmm. God bless you. You will be seated. Amen. In the presence of the Lord. Bow your ears with me, amen, for a moment as we shall pray. 
Our Heavenly Father, we come now to say thank you for your mercy and for your love. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God, for this aggregation of people who have come to hear a word from the Lord. Yes, sir. And God, you have been good to us. You blessed us and you kept us and given us necessities of life that we have need of. Lord, if all of us were to be honest, we could say that you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. And so we come to say thank you today. We preach Jesus and him crucified. Touch somebody's head, lift heart, lift the home down head, oh God. Make ways for somebody out of nowhere. Somebody here today, God has a special need. But I believe there is a word, oh God, that will let them know that help is not only on the way, help is standing in the way that they might proceed. Father God, I pray now that you will allow me to speak with biblical accuracy. Speak through the lips of clay. We come to preach Jesus and him crucified. We thank you, we praise you, we give you glory for it is in Jesus' name. Thank God and let every heart say amen. Amen. Uh, my brothers and sisters, for a few moments, uh, I want you, if you can, if you're not close enough, get you a neighbor where you can at least look at them if you can't repeat it. They don't understand what you are murmuring through your mask. That's all right, but they are here from my voice. And just look at them and tell them, it's a neighbor. Neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. It's time. It's time. For a change. For a change. Mm. Amen. Somebody, somebody said, hmm. Amen. It's time for a change. My brothers and sisters, change is inevitable. It is going to come with you or without you. We are living in a day and time now, amen, where uh, one day you can drive by a building and it's there, the next day it's torn down, and they're in the process of building something new. It, it, it is here that we must understand that Jesus has an assignment. And the problem, amen, that has been throughout history and the age of God uh, working with his people is that God made us. How many of you know that the Lord made you? Raise your hand. Amen. Amen. The Bible says it is he that have created us and not we ourselves, for we are the sheep of his past. And so it is uh, whenever it comes to our relationship with the Lord, amen, and God always knows best, amen. He, Miss Mary Ann, he had a difficult assignment. One of the difficult assignments that the Lord had is trying to change us. Yeah. Amen. Uh, uh, try, try, let me know. Uh, he trying to change me. I, I don't know about you, but I want to do better. I want to live better. Yeah. And I want to represent the Lord. Yeah. But the thing is, amen, whenever you are trying to change something, you're trying to uh, to reform it, amen, it may not be that you have the best material to work with. Yeah, yeah, Y'all gonna help me out up in here? Yeah. Anybody ever try to iron blue jeans? Yeah. A difficult assignment, uh, if I say this word right, corduroy, amen, that, that kind of material that you have to have a little bit of heat, amen, and get one ring out on the front and it appears on the back. And, and, and that's what it is sometimes when it comes to men, amen, that when God is trying to help us, he's trying to uh, look out for our best interest, amen. We seem not to want to work with the Lord. Yeah. We think of the psalm, amen, that Frank Sinatra sing, sings, amen, I, I, I did it my way. Anybody in here ever did it your way? Yeah. Only to find out, amen, I've learned through time and I'm old enough to say it, amen, that God's way is the best way. Yeah. It is now here in this text, amen, that if you have not noticed, uh, even with the technological changes, amen, by the time you buy one cell phone, amen, four or three weeks is up, yeah. they got a new one on the market. Yeah. Doesn't matter whether it's an Android, amen, or iPhone, amen, changes, amen, have been made, amen, and they're trying their best to get you to get an update. And all of us, amen, whether we are willing to admit it or not, amen, like change. Yes. Uh, for those of you who are married, amen, you ask your wife, amen, and she'll tell you, well, yeah, I, I, I know I got that one two weeks ago, amen, but I like this one. Yes. I, I won't 
change, amen. Uh, our change, amen, can be difficult, amen, because we are apprehensive and always resistant to change. But whether you are ready or not, change are coming for you, amen, and change is coming, amen, and it will happen without you. If you don't believe it, if you're at least 40 years old, look in the mirror. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Brothers and sisters, amen, I'm trying to get to this text through the back door, but do you all not know that humanity is obsessed with change? Look, look at your little grandchildren, amen, because you didn't do it for your children. And many of us have said that we will never buy or pay a hundred dollars for a pair of sneakers. And then here you are, amen, who never had anything other than some converse. Now you wear some Nikes. Y'all ain't gonna help me out of here. Our culture changes clothing styles. Music style, amen. Who ever thought you would be listening to a music, amen? You know. And then, now, you can't even understand the words, you don't know what the lyrics are, they're just a beat, amen. And here it is. And so it is, my brothers and sisters, amen. There are changes in entertainment programs, the news, amen. And we want to know what the changes are every day, amen. And often, we're anxious to see what the change is. It was Sam Cooke who sang the song, amen. A change is going to come. Yes, yes. And, and, and believe it or not, whether we are ready, or ready for it or not, amen, it's already here. But then on the other hand, I read it in the text. There are those who hate change. Mm-hmm. Y- y- y'all want to work with folks? Yes, sir. Ah, especially in the church. We, we, we don't want to change. This is the way we did it yesterday. This is where the deacon is set. Yesterday. This is, where, this is where the deacon is set. Yesterday. And now what you have, you do not have. And we must become a church without walls. The people are not coming to the church. We got to take the church to them. And we can't come in here all the time choked up with a necktie. Yes, That's why your grandkids don't want to talk to you. <laughs> You're so mean. All right, You're too stiff. All right. <laughs> and it is in the text. Now, I showed you all in the text. It says, and when they saw and when they heard me, he's talking about church folk. Uh-huh. Well, the Lord get ready to do something good. My God. But I'm the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> what does the Lord care about your title? Amen. Because man look at all the outward appearance. Yes, but God looks at the heart. Yes, sir. Ah, my brothers and sisters, if we keep doing things the same way, all we are going to get is same results. same results. We are willing to admit it, but we're not willing to change. Uh-huh. Ah, there's one change in our lifetime uh, that is of us. Yes. And I submit to you, brothers and sisters, amen, all of us, I say all of us, a man must change from a sinner to a saint. I ain't, I ain't never smoked no cigarettes, so what? I didn't drink no whiskey. The Bible says all have sinned. I come short of the glory of God. David said, Behold, I was born in sheep and in iniquity. And you cannot make heaven and avoid hell any other way than allowing the Lord to change your life. Tell your neighbor, it's time for a change. It is here, brothers and sisters, that Christ must come and abide at our house. Yes. I, I'm not talking about your physical address. I'm talking about the tent, the building that you live in. For Paul said that if this old earth, the house of this tabernacle was to dissolve, I got another building not made with hands. Amen. And no matter what you do to it, how you fix it up, paint it up, amen. Uh, one songwriter said that there's a leak in this old building. Yes, sir. And, uh, you may not want to, but you're going to have to move. Yes. Can I get a witness up in here? Yes. Uh, whenever we look at the name Zacchaeus, yes, sir. 
Zacchaeus mean uh, from Jewish name mean pure. Jesus in his sermon on the mount, he says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Yes. The Bible said, God thy heart with all diligence, because out of it are the issues of life. Yes. You ever heard anybody cuss and come out, uh-uh, that slip, I didn't mean to say it. <laughs> they didn't mean for it to come out, but it was in there. Whatever, amen, is in the well, it's going to eventually come out of the bucket. Can I get a witness up in here? Zacchaeus, amen, name mean pure. Psalmist asked the question, who shall dwell in the hills of the Lord? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, and nor sworn deceitfully. Here now from the text, amen, uh, Zacchaeus, uh, make an extra effort, amen, because he's small in stature. Say what you will, amen, when you don't have something, amen, as a strength in one area, you have to make up for it in another area. Yes. Uh, it is here now, the Bible said that Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus. Mm -hmm. And my brothers and sisters, if any of us are going to make it to heaven, amen, you're going to have to see Jesus through the way of the Holy Spirit. Conversion is critical, amen, and even the world recognizes this, amen, but they have the wrong kind of conversion in mind. This is a picture, amen, of what Jesus now allows us to see, amen, that love and acceptance goes a long way. Here it is from the text, when we began to read the text, uh, the text said, amen, and when they saw it, they all murmured. Why, why is it among us, amen, that we don't want somebody else to do better? Amen. Why, why is it uh, that we don't want to reach out and love somebody else other than ourselves? Uh, Jesus said, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, and that is, you have love one to the other, not love one for the other. Amen. Even love somebody that loves you. The Bible teaches us, amen, that every one of us, somebody say even me. Even me. Uh-huh, that we need, amen, a personal relationship with the Lord. In fact, the 10th verse that I read, amen, the Bible said that Jesus came to seek and to save uh, those that are lost. Song, amen, uh, sometimes the group sings, says, I'm so glad I found the Lord Jesus. But I got good news for you, amen. Jesus was never lost. All right. We all reverse that song and says, I'm so glad that the Lord found me. Yes. For I was sinking deep in sin, yes. far from a peaceful shore, <coughs> very sinking, barely sinking there within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despair and cry. And from the waters lifted me, now saved am I. It's time for a change. It is here, brothers and sisters, the Bible tells us that Jesus was on his way, amen, to Jerusalem. Yes. It is, amen, when you see purpose and destiny calling you at the same time, and you still have a heart, amen, to reach out, it shows the glory of God. The Bible lets us know, amen, that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, amen, to be crucified. And most people, amen, if they are headed to the courthouse, amen, and they got a trial coming up, they don't want to be bothered, they don't want to talk, amen, they don't want no aggravation, they just want to be left alone. Amen. But here now Jesus, amen, as we look at the lesson, amen, he chooses to go through Jericho. <clears throat> and whenever we look at Jericho, his journey, amen, was to get to Jericho, he had to go by way of the Jericho road. Amen. When you look at Jericho and the Damascus Road, amen, that was not the best place to be. Thieves, amen, and robbers, murderers, amen, all kinds of people hung out down there. And so it is, amen, we must understand that no matter where you are, that Jesus is yet now in this last day trying to develop a relationship with you and I. It is here, amen, that if you know, amen, or if we knew that we only had a couple of days to live, a whole, a whole lot of us <clears throat> will do 180 degrees change. Yeah. 
We turn, we put down some things. We go and forgive, amen, ask somebody to forgive us. Then we would forgive some people, amen, so that we could be received of the Lord. Yes, sir. However, amen, on the Damascus road to Jericho, it's just like life and the wilderness experience, amen, many times you have to walk alone. Amen. Ah, because everybody that walk by your side is not a team player. Amen. Can I get a witness up in here? Amen. It's on the news, amen, basketball practice, amen, teammate, hit a teammate, amen, and then once it's over, I didn't mean it. Yeah, brothers and sisters, amen, now there is, amen, the path on the Damascus, Damascus road that leads to Jericho. But on this road, just like the church, many times we come Sunday in and Sunday out. Yes. Would you not find it strange that only two people needed Jesus? <clears throat> the first person, amen, that Jesus uh, ran into, amen, was blind Bartimaeus. I, I, I know you don't know what it's like to be blind, but everybody close your eyes for just a, a second or two. You don't want to walk in total darkness, amen, and see darkness around you all the time. Blind Bartimaeus had never seen a sunrise or a sunset. Uh -huh. And so, amen, he had heard that Jesus was passing through. Yeah. And the Bible tells us, amen, that faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Yes, Blind Bartimaeus made a cry from the wayside. In our text, amen, the text said that Zacchaeus was a chief tax collector. Come on. Amen. But he wanted to see Jesus. Yes, sir. Whenever you chief over something, that means not only are you chief, amen, but you're in a place of authority to tell somebody else what to do. Isn't it strange now, amen, that a change has come and grandchildren and children are telling parents what to do instead of parents telling their children what to do. You tell them to be in by 12, they only come in at 3, and there you just say anything. Brothers and sisters, Jericho was a Christian city, and Jesus, a man, was evidently not planning on stopping in Jericho. Come on now. And the language from the text, a man, tells us, because the Bible said that Jesus entered Jericho, a man, and was passing through. Amen. You can uh, uh, be coming from Tarver, amen, and going to Greenwell, amen, and if you're on the right route, you can bypass Bethel, amen, just passing through, and you never see nobody in the town because you're just passing through. Yes, sir. But here, amen, with Jesus plan, his plan was subject to need. And my brothers and sisters, no matter what you have need of, amen, the Lord is able to provide. And just finding, amen, in this travel, two people that only wanted Jesus, amen, ah, was kind of challenging. Amen. We must understand that whatever we talk about Jericho, that Jericho, amen, was not an exactly friendly territory to Jesus. Simply put, because you had your Pharisees and your Sadducees, and here it is now, they held on to the law, amen, when Jesus, amen, held on to the Spirit of God. He taught his disciples, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. Also, amen, Jericho was a wealthy city. And, Jer and Jesus often spoke about the wealth of the world, amen, and touched uh, so many of the poor and the needy. For the Bible says that Jesus himself, amen, have taught us, amen, that he that give it to the poor and lend it to the Lord. The poor you have with you always, amen. Open wide your hands to the poor. Yes. I'm glad about Jesus, amen, because he never conned in sin, amen, on people just because of their status. But when you look at the text, amen, they, uh, the Bible says, they, and when they saw it, they all murmured. Amen. Why is it that when people cannot be in control or they can't tell everybody what to do, they murmur and complain? If we ever as a culture learn how to speak good things, speak positive things, know that life and death is in the power of the tongue, amen, we will watch what we say. Amen. 
here it is, amen, from the text, amen, uh, being a wealthy city, amen, Jesus knew what he was up against. But these kind of people, amen, the ones who won't come to church, amen, the ones who talk about those who come to church, they don't want God until they get in trouble. I wouldn't wait to want God, amen, until I'm laying in the hospital. I got COVID, amen, I got cancer, amen, or something else is happening to me. And now, all of a sudden, I want Jesus. We must get to the place, amen, where we understand, amen, that self-righteousness, amen, and self-sufficiency is not going to help us all the time in this life. They are the principle and the things, amen, that will keep you from changing. The biggest thing that keeps people from changing is pride. I know Pastor Shaw been here for a long time, but he can't tell me what to do. Well, I just stopped by to tell you what the word of the Lord said. Yeah. It is here now, amen, that to the Jews, amen, Zacchaeus was hardly the person that Jesus wanted to talk to. Yes, sir. You all not know that's in the church. Uh, not, not in we, not, not here in Cornerstone. Amen. But, 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 but folk, amen, they got their own little group. They all know fan base, amen, the one they are talked to. Yeah. Uh, Zacchaeus was not just a tax collector, but the chief tax collector. He all saw, amen, a network, amen, of thieves and traders, amen, but he was the chief trader. Uh -huh. uh, being a tax collector, amen, he would add on taxes, amen, that weren't justified by the laws. <coughs> it's like some of us get ready to do now as we get to the end of the year. You know you don't have no dependence, but you're going to file your income tax and claim five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 y'all ain't going to help me out if you here. <laughs> here now, a man to change uh, is necessary. He has so much going against him, amen, but a desire to change. Somewhere in our lives, brothers and sisters, amen, we need, we, we need to have a desire for change, amen. Is there anybody in here really want to do better? Yeah. 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 Don't fool me now. Anybody on this side really want to do better? Yeah. Yeah. You, you want to change? Anybody on this side want to yeah. change? Yeah. Anybody want to change just to come in your life? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And so, amen, when we look at Zacchaeus, his wealth came at the expense of others. And there's some folk, amen, sometimes when you folk know that they're broke, they don't have anything, but they take the little bit that they have, amen, just to get what they want. Can I get a witness up in here? But here, I, I'm glad for Jesus. Because Jesus offered a possible and a new approach to life. No matter where you've been or what you've done, amen, if you want Jesus to change your life. I heard the Bible say that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart the Lord Jesus Christ that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Can you witness something here? Jesus only looked for those who won't change. Not just what we would consider, amen, the cream of the crop, amen, but he is drawn to those, amen, who hunger for him. I heard the Bible said that he that hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled. Oh, there are too many people who have a hunger for the wrong things and the wrong people. Can I get a witness up in here? We sit up in church and I stop by to tell somebody, amen, that the same crowd that said to Jesus, amen, began to murmur and to complain, amen. They asked him, Lord, what shall be the signs, amen, of the end of the time and his coming. Jesus told him that told them that children would turn against their parents. Amen. There will be earthquakes in diverse places. Amen. Wars and rumors of wars. Can I get a witness up in here? I got a haste in my face because y'all start looking at your watch. I know you're ready to go home. Amen. I'll go football or wait for five minutes. Just give me five minutes and I'll be out your way. Jesus, amen, didn't leave the chain. Amen. For him that knew no sin took upon Ah, him, the sins of the world. The Bible said that in Adam all die, but in Jesus all are made alive. Anyone trying to see Jesus, amen, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. You may not see Jesus in some of the folk that sit beside you in church. You may not see Jesus from some of the preachers that preach behind the pulpit. Ah, you may not see 
Jesus and some of the folk that sing in the choir. Hallelujah. You may not see Jesus, amen, from some of those who usher. You may not see Jesus when you go down the mud, amen. You'll find folks standing in line about about louder. You will just, amen, confess the Lord Jesus. When the Bible told us, don't give your money to usury. But I know, I know, I know that a change is going to come. It's going to start with me. My God, my God. There were thousands that Jesus passed me by. But the old people in the primitive Baptist church used to sing the song. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. Wow. Now, now I'm passing. Please don't pass me by. Oh, my God, up in here. Because folks will give up on you. They'll talk about you like a dog. Oh, Lord. But I'm so glad for Jesus that he went beyond all of my thoughts. He saw my knees. He said, You don't need to jump in here. That is was a heavy tax collector. But uh, folks don't want to pay the tax. Uh, I had to make a ship up in here. Uh, but got mad and didn't understand. Uh, I said, I'm not uh, going down with the ship. Uh, I'm not going along just to get along. Uh, so when you know better, you got to do better. Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, there comes a the time uh, that change in need. Uh, oh, Lord. Uh, because the Lord Jesus uh, is on his way back. Uh, crime is everywhere. Uh, and shooting. Uh, everybody got a gun. Uh, Church is now not going to stop, but teaching people how to get you to a class and get a concealed weapon. Oh, but I stopped out to tell somebody how to do all right to protect your house. How to do the right to say that the weapons of my left hand, they are not coming on, but they are mighty. Through God, uh, to the put it down uh, of strongholds. Uh, Psalm 91 and 11, uh, to the Lord that's uh, given his angels uh, charge over me uh, to keep you from uh, in all my ways. Uh, and I will, uh, I will, uh, I will trust the Lord. Uh, some trust in horses, uh, some trust in chariots. Uh, through the years, um, heartaches and tears, uh, disappointments, uh, folk let me down, uh, oh my God, uh, but I've come to the place uh, that when the Lord uh, made the change in my life, uh, placed a call on me, uh, I told the Lord uh, that I'll go, uh, if I have to go uh, by myself, uh, plenty of times uh, I had to come by myself, uh, I had to walk by myself, uh, but I'm so glad that uh, Jesus uh, was right there with me, uh, this time. For a change, head riding, right uh, there's already uh, on the road, uh, sun going down, uh, we see you uh, in the same place, uh, doing the same thing, uh, telling the same lies, uh, getting up uh, at the same time, uh, and there is no change. Uh, the Bible uh, asks the question, uh, can a leopard uh, change his spots, uh, or the Ethiopian man uh, change his color, uh, but I stop. I am to tell you uh, that if you give your heart uh, to the Lord, uh, God will, uh, God will, uh, for a people change, uh, change, uh, it's time for change, uh, the church has to change uh, and begin to love people, uh, the thing I like uh, about Jesus, uh, is that Jesus told him uh, that the Son of Man uh, came not to be served, uh, but he came to serve uh, and to give his life uh, a ransom for many, uh, I'm so glad uh, that Jesus Jesus, he would come up for my hang up on every wish I had, every addiction that I was strong on to. God through his son Jesus had made a difference in my life. I would have changed over a chain. It makes a difference because when Jesus comes into your life, you'll see people in a different life. You'll see people in a different way. You will be so mean. You will learn how. To love everybody, everybody to love you. But I heard the Lord say, "Good loving kindness have a strong me. Greater love, greater love, greater love, greater love, greater love. Our children need love. Oh Lord, our wives need love. Husbands need love. What the world need now is the love of God." In the hearts of men and women, that one day we can sit down hand in hand and we won't be judged by the color of our skin, but by the character and the conscience in our heart. It's time.